Hello everyone and welcome to the Hype Productions. Guys, in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about some walk cycle in Adobe Photoshop. So let's get it started. First of all, as you can see that I have already a canvas and some walk sequence, these 10 kind of walk sequence. So I'm going to go to the to open my timeline. So you can see there is a timeline already present here. I'm going to play this so you can see this person is actually walking from the front profile and uh, if I will go to the next step so it's a side profile that this person is walking in the different frame settings so uh, what is the main phenomena about these frame and uh, we will learn about this in this tutorial so I have already an image uh, it's called walking animation and I'm gonna take new canvas uh, it's up to you that uh, what kind of a canvas, uh, what size canvas you want to have. So I have taken this canvas, which is 10 by 15. So I'm going to make selection from this frame, only this side. And I will uh, transfer this into the here. You can see it's a copy paste or some moving life cycle. But I'm actually copy and pasting every single frames to another canvas. Likewise, you have to do this. Okay, so the question is this, why am I doing this separately? So you can find if I'm doing this separately, so every frame has their own layer. That's why I'm doing it uh, separately. You can see there's a number of layers are generating. We will talk about this later. So, okay. I'm gonna make it copy paste here. One by one, one by one. Okay, so this is my last frame. Okay. So I have these eight frames. Why did I do this? Because uh, every frame has this single layer, every frame. So we can uh, move separately. All right, so I'm gonna increase the size of this walk cycle. And uh, now I'm going to the windows and find out timeline. So you can see there's a button which is called create video timeline. So I'm gonna click on it. So you can find out your timeline and every layer has their own layer in this timeline, which is actually complicated. So I'm gonna to go to this toggle and uh, I'll click on this. So it will convert it into this kind of animation timeline. And this is the time settings, that how much time you need to across another frame. So I'm gonna give this time second is 0.1 second. And uh, after that, I'm gonna make it duplicates. This sign has a duplicate. So I'm gonna duplicate these layer. Let's count our layer from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means we need eight duplicates, total eight. So we have eight layers. So I'm going to do select first layer, turn off all the layer and just on one layer. Same thing, I'm gonna to go to the second frame, turn on second layer and off first layer. Third frame, turn on third layer fourth frame, turn on only fourth layer, fifth, so turn fifth layer, sixth, so of course, turn on sixth layer, for the seventh layer, you have to go seven, and the last frame is eighth layer, so I have to open eighth layer. So now, what we have to do, you will have to find out these option, which is called forever. Once mean that you will have to play only one time, Three times means that it will play third time and forever means it will be loop. It will go so on like this. So it will not stop. It will not start only once or three times. It will start forever. So let's talk about this frame. Uh, and this person is actually walking from the front profile. So the same thing I'm going to copy paste these frames but before that I'm gonna crop this okay so let's take new canvas and same size 15 by sorry 8 by 8 and uh, 120 resolution 
So I'm going to make selection, copy, control C and paste from control V. Same thing I'm going to do with these all different frames. Copy and paste, copy and paste. That's nice. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this, but Control C and Control V. Okay, remaining four frames, Control C, Control V. Okay, Control C, Control V, but This time, once again, I'm gonna do this, Control C and Control V. You can find out there's a line in the, under the, uh, under the under his foot. So I'm gonna select the line and then delete them. Same thing, I'm gonna do this frame. And delete the extra line. We don't want any extra part, only exit body. There's nothing we want. So I'm gonna select this frame as well. And uh, I'll copy and paste it. Once again, I'm finding this line, so I'm gonna delete this line. So one more time, we have eight layers. That means I'm gonna create this video timeline in 0 0.1 second with eight duplicates. So I have these eight duplicates and the same thing I'm gonna do, select first frame, turn on first layer, select second frame, turn on second layer, select third frame, turn on third layer, four and fourth layer, fifth frame, fifth layer, sixth frame, sixth layer, seven frame, seven layer, and eight frame, eight layer, which is the last one. So play with it. Now he is walking also. So guys, as you can see that uh, the person is walking from this scene, like side profile, and the person is walking from the front profile as well. Okay, in the last video, I have created this walk cycle animation, as you can see in my computer screen. So I have a question, uh, someone asked me the question, what we will have to do if we want to take the GIF file. So I'm gonna go to the export and save for the web and find out uh, your animation here. So I'm gonna go to the 32 death here, GIF format and play this. So now it's actually playing. What we have to do, you have to go to the save and I'm gonna give my name, which is called walk mm, cycle. And you will have to click done. So now I'm gonna open this, my walk cycle, and you can find out this person is walking. Yes, guys. So I hope you understand this. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like this, so subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you so much.